been a long time. Uh, I've actually been recording all along, but uh, haven't really been talking to the camera. Um, it is June the 11th. It's a Thursday workout. Just got done here, Brown's Gym. Uh, basically, lifted in San Antonio for men's and masters nationals. Did pretty well there. Qualified for masters worlds, open worlds. Um, I've accepted, basically I've accepted both spots. I'm not sure what I'm doing training wise. Um, Cause here, you know, I, I'm not sure folks out there know the scenario. So I'm running uh, on August 29th and 30th, I'm running the USA Powerlifting Bench National Championships in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, expected to be one of the larger bench nationals in the last few years. Uh, we ran run it up here in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which our proximity were a couple hours from New York City, a couple hours from Maryland. Uh, very easy to get to. Uh, very high population of powerlifters, crossfitters in this area. That event is a equipped and a raw. So you, if you lift in the equipped, you lift in the raw. Uh, you compete for spots there. Currently, there's a bench world team in the equipped. Uh, the unequipped does not have a worlds yet. Yet, um, there's rumors that it could be as early as this November that that gets decided to add an unequipped uh, bench worlds. And so I would think this would be the qualifier if they do add it for next year. Unequipped is definitely taking off. Unequipped slash raw is taking off. So I, I wouldn't be surprised in the next uh, World Congress. IPF decides that uh, to add unequipped. So if you're looking for a, a great international event or you know potential for an international event, you're an unequipped bench presser and want to go to the USAPL Raw Nationals, come check it out. Plus, uh, the at the Arnold Sports Festival, there is an unequipped division, unequipped bench only there too, um, usually sponsored by SSP Nutrition. So uh, to be a candidate for that, you would have to lift unequipped in the USAPL, and uh, I'm sure um, the Nationals would be a qualifier for the 2016 Arnold Sports Festival. So that's August 29th and 30th on the end of the end of september so basically four weeks after running bench nationals would be the masters three lift world championships that's an equipped class i am qualified for that in the uh my weight class at 264 uh in the masters i am actually turning 40 this september and i would be qualified to go to the masters class there uh the issues the complexity is um whether I should <laughs> um, because following masters that in itself bench nationals masters not a big deal I, I usually lose about 10 at least 10 pounds of body weight uh, running meets but no big deal four weeks rest masters worlds not not horribly we're concerned about that the issue is October 15th 16th, 17th, 18th, I run the Raw Nationals on Equipped Nationals in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Currently, this is June the 11th, I have over 213 lifters entered an application in hand for the Raw Nationals. And Raw Worlds just happened, or is happening this week. So all the lifters at Raw Worlds in Finland, good job guys. None of those lifters are entered yet. <laughs> So the 212, 213 lifters um, are all uh, folks that aren't on the world team for the most part. And uh, so there's a lot of entries. We're taking entries up till September 15th. September 15th is the cutoff. A uh, couple questions come up. Uh, what's the cap? There is no cap. So uh, we, if you're qualified, we will take applications postmarked up through September 15th or is it September 14th one or the other but basically 30 days out you have to be qualified to enter so if you're trying to look at a qualifying meet on September 17th 
too late. There's a 30 day line. Uh, it's got it. You have to have your qualifying and your application in, and it's got, the qualifying has to happen before the deadline. Uh, otherwise, it won't it won't get you in the meet. So keep that in mind when you're trying to qualify. If you are um, considering two different weight classes, this is a question that's been coming on online. If you're considering two different weight classes and you're qualified, say, you know, I don't know, 74, 83, whatever. If you're in between two weight classes, you've got to meet in both of them. You're qualified in both of them. My recommendation would be to enter the lighter one because what will happen is if you decide to move up, you just come to that earlier weigh-in or you come to the weigh-in you're scheduled to go at and declare you're moving up and then you move up. If you do it the other way around, then basically you're not registered for that session possibly and then you're showing up early and it throws everything out for a mix. It's a lot easier from a management perspective if you're between two weight classes to register for the lighter weight class. Okay? That way from magic your 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 card is in there, but the only thing is if you're moving up, you have to come to the weigh in that you're scheduled for. The weigh in you're registered for. And if it if it's going to move you into a different session or a different day, you have to declare it during that session. Don't just no show it, okay? So show up for that session you're scheduled to weigh in. Uh, let us know, and then we'll move you into the next session, or move you. You know, might be within that session, so it's no big deal. It's the same weigh-in time, but keep that in mind. If, and that would be my recommendation for folks that are on the bubble. If you've registered, um, another one that comes out. If you're registered and let's say you've you've registered for 120 kilos but you're trying to go to a qualifier at 105 you want to lift the 105 but uh, you're not sure so and you've already registered if this is the, your scenario just go to the meet if you've qualified send me an email update me with your event your event total and I'll update the roster and your weight class now <clears throat> Please remind me, I'm getting, you know, right now we have over 213 applications and we're several months out and we've got multiple meets. If you don't see it day one, let it go for a little bit. Uh, I'll try to, when I make the update, I'll let you know when I make the update. So you should see it, but I, I'll update it locally, then I'll update it online. So just from a management perspective, I'll say, you know, if I send you an email saying it's all done, that doesn't mean it's necessarily online done uh, because I'm not going to update the online roster as quickly as I update my local file. All right, uh, that concludes this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing video today, but uh, you guys have a good rest of today. Um, if you have any questions or anything, send me an email. Uh, all the information, if you're just interested in thinking about it, Go to purepowerlifting.com and check out the both the bench and the Raw Nationals websites. Thanks and have a great day. Take care.